Hi, it's you again today. Welcome back to another video. In this video, I thought I'd explain a little bit and hopefully try to answer some of your questions about the black screen issues you get with a Citra 3DS emulator on Android. Now, I used to experience this on my old uh, Sony smartphone and I think it's to, down to what device and what build you have because there are two builds. There is the unofficial version and there's the unofficial custom build version. So what I'm going to do is folks, I'm going to leave two links in the description, one for the custom build, one for the unofficial build. So if you're having problems with the custom build, have a look at the, un uh, have a look at the unofficial build and hopefully it will be able to resolve. So I'm going to go through some of the things that I think might, might help uh, be able to fix. Please bear in mind that um, I believe some uh, Snapdragon phones and some Exynos phones, some work, some don't. And for those who ask questions like does it work the only best way to, is to try out these two versions and hopefully um you'll be able to see for yourself so it's, it's very hard to say would this phone work um the best thing to do is actually just download and see if you can install it yourself and see if it does work so one of the issues i get i'm going to go into the Citra emulator and now this is even though it's a custom build it still has issues i get it where you go in and it wants you to crash out so let's see if it does it so so there you go, emulator keeps on stopping. Now if you do get this, I get this come up all the time because like you say, it's not it's not perfect this emulator and it's got bugs and glitches. So I usually go to app info and then come back out and then it lets me in. That's one issue to fix it. So I'm gonna choose a game and uh, oh, there's always decisions. Uh, so many good games. Uh, let's just go for Pokemon Ultra Sun. Now, you see there, I can hear music, but nothing's coming up. Now, for some reason, on this phone, some reason on this phone, um, it don't come up straight away. So, all you got to do is rotate your phone 90 degrees and then come back, like I've just done there. See, I've rotated the phone 90 degrees and it's come back and it comes up. And as someone said, how did you exit as well? Another question that was asked, you just saw us there. I just basically pulled in from the side of my phone and then it just come, you just press the, the arrow that you can see at the top right hand corner, just press it twice, press again, then you can come out. Now, one of the, another issues that you could have is let's go into the settings. I'm not so much on this version, but maybe uh, it would probably work uh, a lot better on the other version. Because this is the custom build, this yellow, you can see at the top there, it's yellow. The unofficial build uh, is by Sachin Vin is the blue one. So try both out and see what you think. Um, but one thing you could do is in your emulated region, go for auto select. But if your region is Japan, USA, Europe, Australia, change it to that. You never know, it might work. Um, you know, the region from your, where your ROM is. Another one is... Now I turn it off, enable hardware shader. Try turning it on. Um, that might help, but sometimes for me, I've always kept that off uh, when I was using my Sony phone. So that's another thing you can use. I can't really see anything. Um, uh, oh yes, your emulated clock speed. If it's too high, it won't work. If it's too low, it might not work, it will crash. So it's best to keep it around 90% and override emulated CPU clock speed. You can try checking that and see if that would work. Uh, I'm gonna go to emulated clock speed and it's down to zero. I did it for to see if it was an improvement, which I did get on one or two games. But I would say my personal opinion, and it's probably around about 90. Yeah, about 90 odd. But if you set it too high, it could crash your phone. So there's just options, so. But like I say, another option is to try the unofficial build. So hopefully that fixes some of them. Remember, 
it's down to device some all devices will work so it's a case of trial and error so um you've got two versions to go from and hopefully that this helps but it just answers some of the questions um any issues that you're having with but one for me every time i've got to go in game it's just going dragon ball z and nothing comes up see the frame rates in the top left hand corner there but nothing comes up i'm going to rotate the foam literally 90 degrees physically 90 degrees and then bring it back into like landscape mode and then you can see it comes up but i have to do it every time on my sony i didn't have to i don't know why and there you go so hopefully this video will help you out a little bit more um i will leave in the link in the description for both builds the custom build and the unofficial uh build uh tutorials uh how to download and install the games uh best settings and obviously a link um uh to the games so there you go so hopefully this will help some of you and um yeah so hope you enjoyed the video stay tuned for more and i'll just see you soon bye for now